The National Famine Museum at Strokestown Park and Irish Heritage Trust are screening this film as part of the Great Famine Voices Roadshow 2020 online event series. The Great Famine Voices Roadshow is funded by the Government of Ireland Emigrant Support Programme. Our heritage is Asian and Irish. Um, we are three quarters Chinese and a quarter Irish. My grandmother came from Glanamaddy from Galway in Ireland. Our grandfather was from a small village outside Canton. Well, we think that they were introduced by one of her sisters, grandmother's sisters, who was friendly with a uh, Chinese. Uh, other than that, we're not sure. I think it was a very successful marriage. They had eight children, um, and our father was the eighth child, and he was the only boy, but I think uh, they were fairly happy. Um, I normally, if anybody asks me, I will say I'm Chinese because that's the greater part of me is Chinese, but then I will also add in, actually, I'm also a quarter Irish because people are always very interested once I mention that I have Irish roots. Um, I've not lived really in Liverpool since 78 when I moved away, so um, I'm not really involved in the Irish community anymore here. I feel I have a, a dual personality. Uh, the Irish side of me probably is the sense of humour, which I used to share a lot with my Uncle Tony. And I used to remember Grandma singing Irish songs late at night, and her cooking bones and cabbage and potatoes, which were absolutely delicious. I mean, I love Irish music myself. I have visited Dublin on several occasions. And I always feel that my sense of humour definitely has carried me through. Having said that, the other side of me, my oriental side, apart from loving food, is the fact that I have always had a very strong work ethic. And I um, have worked from a very early age, starting at my grandfather's restaurant, um, where I remained on Saturday nights only for about eight years before I went to live abroad. So I've not really been in the Liverpool community since 1969. Um, I have really haven't had anything to do with the Irish community in Liverpool. Um, I've been brought up uh, obviously in Liverpool all my life. Um, again, probably identified more as being Chinese, being three quarters Chinese and only quarter Irish. But definitely, um, obviously, the uh, sense of humour is from the Irish side. And I guess Roma said about the worth ethic um, definitely is being instilled in us from a young age through the Chinese um, side of the family. Um, I'd also like to say that the one thing I have had from the Irish side of the family is my faith, being a Roman Catholic. And um, my father promised his mother, who um, my grandmother, who was full Irish from Glenamadi, that he would always go to still go to church when he went to live in China. And um, he actually has dedicated a chapel within the Metropolitan Cathedral in Liverpool to his parents, Elizabeth Fong and uh, Paul Fong, his father. And this is um, a sculpture of the actual um, statue that's in the children's chapel. Uh, dedicated for the unborn children um, uh, in the city. Um, I think the positives I've, I have got had, I think it's nice that we are, it's different to have uh, a mixture of both cultures, um, not only within our psyche, but also um, appearance-wise, it's nice to have a bit of a difference, and not, neither one nor the other. Um, but, uh, I, you know, I definitely am, am glad that I've had the mixed heritage that I've had, definitely. Well, from my point of view, I feel as though being of mixed race, you accept others more readily wherever you go in the world. Mm -hmm.